Previously on Outside Watch, we untie the lines in Luteritz and set sail north along the Skeleton Coast. And we discover one of the most isolated and amazing anchorages we've ever been to in Hottentot Bay. Yeah, this is like what cruising's about, is like finding remote places like this. Jack are picking up crayfish for the barbecue. Right. The fishermen just pulled up. We met Whiskey Jack in Cape Town and had been sailing with them since. Their crew consists of the owners, Jeff and Amber, and their friend, Tim, plus their two kids. Whiskey Jack, Canadian family, sailing for 15 years. 15 years. Left Vancouver in 2009. And we only made it halfway. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. I love gloves so you can like... I love the gloves and my face. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Emma! That girl can move! Oh, those ones are delicious. Kinda of hoping for some lemon garlic butter, everybody! Standing, bro. How's that, Chris? Amazing. Thanks, Tim. Jalapeno poppers. You can't go wrong with these. It's gonna burn your mouth. How was it? Wow, sis, Delicious. that was. That's gonna be a hot <laughs> pepper. Really, really quickly, and hop through a shower because I feel like I might get sick halfway through. Yes, I'll do it. So I'm gonna quickly do that while we start. Ready to go, Chris? Let's go to Spencer Bay. Is that Bur the Bird Island? Or is it penguins? Um, yeah, it's Mercury Island, is what it's called, and there's a lot of seals and penguins and stuff. Too cool. There. Let's yeah. go. Supposedly, it stinks. We'll see. Let's go. Our next stop of the Namibian coast was to Mercury Island, a quick three hour motor to the north. Ooh, it's cold. It's 
pretty rough in here. Oh my gosh, are those all penguins? Oh, wow. How cool, hey? That's gonna be awesome to go check it out. They're coming down to greet this one. Look, they are. They are coming to help out. Bird Island, Whiskey Jack, it's so dirty here, sand and bird shit, <laughs> it's a delicious combo, oh. I think like, when we get to Volvis I don't care if it's still blowing, we need to get all the sand off. miles to go to Walvis Bay and we are gonna have a cray cray passage. We have about 70 crawfish tails in the freezer that we uh, got in Tot Tot Bay from some local fishermen and we are gonna have four crayfish meals. We're gonna do lunch dinner, breakfast lunch and they're gonna have to involve some sort of crayfish component. So we are making up a great menu and it will tantalize our taste buds. <laughs> and our cholesterol will be sky high after. <laughs> Maybe we'll get gout. <laughs> Are you ready for this cray cray passage, Chris? I'm ready. This would be our final sail in Africa. A 185 nautical mile, 36 hour passage up the coast to Walvis Bay. It's a crayfish extravaganza. It's cray cray. We have a cray cray curry. CCC. <laughs> What's for dinner, Jen? We're having surf and turf. We're having a uh, rump steak covered mm -hmm. in peppercorn and crayfish tails Ooh. with a garlic rice. Ooh, mm. delicious. Garlic butter rice. It's not going to be a healthy meal, but it's going to be delicious, I hope. I'm certain it will be. So cook the steak first, and then we'll do the tails, and then we'll make a little bit of lemon butter for the tails. Oh, this more butter. Maybe. Yeah. Ooh, this beef looks great. Catching me eating in the kitchen. Snack attack. Snack attack. There's no better way to 
a pack of snacks than to do it in the kitchen when no one else is looking. Well done, Jen. Thanks. Oh, not well done. It's perfectly cooked. <laughs> But the rice is really good. Are you happy with your dinner um, produce? Yes. Well, it's, 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 it's a lot of rice. It is. You need Sorry. rice on your plate. Oh my gosh. That's, that's good. Delicious. Okay. Now it's ready. Just like that, we had reached our final destination on the African continent, Walvis Bay, Namibia. One month prior, Mickling had joined us in Cape Town, having never set foot on a sailboat, much less done any offshore sailing. Unfortunately, now it was time for her to head home, but not without 700 miles of ocean sailing experience under her belt. What's going on here? Packed up, ready to ship out. <laughs> <laughs> You're leaving us. I know it. Can you believe it? Not, not before we enjoy one last boozy lunch, though. Boozy lunch. Is it? Shouldn't it be? Well, you're in holiday mode. Yeah, and you guys will be drowning your sorrows because I'm leaving. Oh. <laughs> We're celebrating. Ooh, maybe. Maybe I like, can't wait to get back here by ourselves. <laughs> Let's put us a bottle yeah. of uh, champagne in the freezer. <laughs> oh, in the freezer it's gonna pop. So, Mickalene, what was your highlight then? My highlight? I don't want to be lame and say my highlight was the dolphins, but I feel like it really was. <laughs> like, I was so impressed by the fact that they, like, swam next to the boat for ages. Like, that was, I, I was very excited about that. But, I think Hot and Top Bay was probably yeah. really epic. And what about the lowest moment? My, I think my lowest <laughs> moment was the first night of passage from Cape Town. I was so over feeling nauseous and I was so over like the motion of the boat and I thought we were like all over the place and you guys were like, no, oh, this is so calm. And I was like, what am I going to do if it's not calm and I can't even handle calm? Like I remember trying to sleep and doze off and then getting thrown around and thinking, how am I gonna survive? Um, and then it got better. Like, like I think the end of day two was like, I didn't feel like super nauseous and stuff, and that was fine. Thank you for all the laughs you brought aboard Skylark. You're welcome back anytime. Come on, grind rod! Damn it, grind rod! You'll be okay. Roger, Roger. Next time on Outside Watch. Skylark and Whiskey Jack, St. Helena bound. We'll be, we'll be right behind you. We leave Africa behind and head back out into the open ocean on our first leg across the South Atlantic, a 1,200 nautical mile sail to the seriously remote volcanic island of St. Helena. And unfortunately, our Jenniker rips in half.